Hello food tubers, my name is Gil Mella. I'm in the River Cottage kitchen and I'm joined today by Tess Ward. Hello. Hello, how are you doing? I'm good. Tess is a chef, a friend and a creator of wonderful food. She's going to be doing some recipes today with us, I hope. Yes, well thanks very much and hopefully they will be good. So we're going to be making an Asian inspired mackerel fish cake. They're going to be rolled in sesame seeds and pan fried in coconut oil. And I'm going to serve that with a coriander salsa with desiccated coconut and some really nice fresh chilli as well. I really hope you like this recipe. So, we've already got the mackerel chopped. Okay, so this is... Painstaking some... labour on my part. So you filleted <laughs> a, a whole mackerel yep. and then... Skinned it yep. and then chopped it up into a very fine dice. You can also put part of it in the food processor if you want. Okay. Um, if, so if you don't want to actually chop it yourself, this is the cheats way. Some breadcrumbs here. You can use normal breadcrumbs, gluten-free breadcrumbs, whichever you fancy. And to that, I'm going to add a couple of tablespoons. And to add to that, we're going to have some grated ginger. OK. A tablespoon of ginger, please, girl. OK. <laughs> OK, that's probably about a tablespoon. I think we're good on the ginger. So I've got four spring onions here. And I've chopped them, but I'm going to chop them even finer. Amazing. So what are we talking about? So we've got a couple of tablespoons of tamari. And yep. we've probably got about two teaspoons of toasted sesame seed oil. OK. So I'm just going to add a good pinch of salt. Lovely. And a nice grinding of black pepper. Smells amazing. So just so give that good. a little mix. Nice. So here we go. This is the mixture. So you want it to look, it's got to hold together quite nicely. So this is about the right texture. And there's one more thing to add. The egg. So now we wouldn't really eat this raw. So we want to make it into little patties and then roll them in the sesame seeds. Yeah, I like it. Yeah? Okay, I can help so you with that. So I think we're going to have to get our hands in now. Okay. So what are we talking about? This sort of size? Perfect size, yeah. exactly. So when we put them in the pan, the sesame seeds are going to toast and become delicious and golden. Nice. There we go. So we're looking to make about 10 patties, as you can see here. Beautiful. It might be a bit messy by the end, I'm afraid. So the patties are all ready, so we can move them to one side and make the coconut and coriander salsa. Yum. Yeah. Okay. So we've got some desiccated coconut here. Right. And we've got some really nice plain probiotic yogurt. Lovely. And we've got a lime and some coriander. So we don't need too much, that many. So I'll do the chopping this time, shall I? And do you want to do the mixing? That sounds like a good arrangement. Okay, let's do that. So this is super quick, it's like taking what, five minutes to make those patties? If that, yeah. And then maybe a few minutes to, uh, to make the salsa. Just to assemble, but we're going to make the salsa first before we cook the patties because we don't want to overcook them. It's just a case of flash frying them, yeah, getting yeah. them really nice and golden on the outside. So we can just add the yogurt in. Lovely natural yogurt. Yes. So it's got the chilli in, which adds freshness, and then the lime juice as and well. And the lime, to, just so to that, cut it a bit. Exactly. Always try your chilli before you is put it in. No, it's not too bad. No, it's not too bad. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's creeping up on always me. The, always the way with chilli. No, it's not too bad. No, it's not too bad. Two seconds later. Ah, I'm running to the top. Yeah. I'm just going to add some lime juice as well. So we've made the salsa, and now we're ready to fry the fish cakes. Wicked. So we can take them over. Okay. And we've got our comedy pan. I mean, you have to appreciate how large this pan is. Massive. So everything's going to go in it all at once. So we've got some coconut oil. We've got some coconut oil going in. Lovely. Pop that in there. Really nice with the with the mackerel. And the... It is. It complements the flavours really well. Just carefully. Pick them up. Looking good. Make a great sous chef. <laughs> Thank you, chef. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. So these are definitely done. We're going to get them off the heat now. Are you okay with monster pan? Yeah. <laughs> I can just about handle it. Oh. Okay. Wow, Tess, they so look we great. Get, we want to get them out of the pan quickly. We don't want them to overcook. Beautiful. Do you want to have a little try? I'd love to have a little try, <laughs> if I may. Of course. Mm, they're really good. <laughs> They're really good, aren't they? They're super good. Um, the whole the whole mouthful is fantastic. You don't know how what that means, mate. Hear that? It's so <laughs> nice. Because Gil's the first person that inspired me to cook, so well, it means a lot to me. Thank you so now much. Now you've inspired me to make these, so we've gone kind of full circle. Oh, you should try them. Mm. 
Hold on, and I'll say subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> well, my mouth is full. If you like the look of this recipe, do make sure to subscribe. Check out my recipes here, testboard.com. Subscribe to the River Cottage Food Tube channel for loads more of your amazing loads recipes. Loads and loads of stuff going on in there, so please do that. And leave your comments below. We'd love to hear what you think as well.